It was a beautiful day for baseball here in Evanston as the Wildcats and Cornhuskers played the rubber match of a three-game series. Wildcats celebrating Paul Stevens Day here in Evanston, but things did not go well for the Wildcats. As Nebraska jumped on starter Reed Mason early, and often Jack Mitchell got a double for the Wildcats in the first, but that was just about all they got today, scattering just seven hits against the Nebraska pitching staff. Schleppenbach, Fielder's Choice, and then a Bolt single. Extended the lead to 2-0 in the second, and then with two outs in the third, Alvarado with a bases clearing double to bring the score out to five nothing. Yeah, Luis Alvarado with two with the bases loaded and two out. Alvarado lining one down the left field line. It plated three and effectively knocked out the Northwestern starter Reed Mason. So Mason ended up only going three innings today while allowing five runs. Alvarado tying his season high with three RBIs in the game. And meanwhile, on the other side of the diamond, Derek Burkamper was excellent all day, benefiting from some excellent defense like this catch by Jake Plotzik. Yeah, the Burkamper excellent overall today. Seven innings pitched. He allowed six hits, strikes out seven while walking just three, and he did not allow Northwestern to put up any runs. Burkamper was really a lockdown starter today for the Cornhuskers, keeping Northwestern off balance all day from start to finish. And then after that, to put the cherry on top in the eighth inning. Ben Miller with an opposite field home run to left field. That was all Nebraska would really need. That was the cherry on top for the Cornhuskers. They made it 9-0. They would add two more. Nebraska wins 11-0. Burr Camper improves the 5-2 on the season, while Northwestern star Reed Mason falls to 2-8. <laughs>